Welcome back, everyone, to the sixth episode of the Industry Manager Future Technologies Let's Play series. If you remember from video number five, we had gotten into a situation where we were trying to, to buy all of the needed elements for our products, which was mobile phone and smart glasses. We were trying to, to buy all the needed components from the global market. Well, unfortunately, the global market wasn't able to supply us with everything we needed in the quantities we needed. So it was determined that we're going to have to get into this production tree a little bit deeper. So we're going to try to begin down a path of producing each one of these on our own. Okay, so that means we need to unlock some buildings. We need to unlock the chemical factory, electronics factory. We're going to need a refinery. And we've already got the oil well unlocked, unlocked by the default from the beginning of the game. But we're going to need some, some buildings and some technology research. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got. Let's go ahead and get everything moving at a little bit of an accelerated pace here. So we look at our research queue here. Hmm. Well, we were going to expand our product line, but we're going to put that on hold because we got a lot going on right now. And as you can see, these things are really adding up uh, as far as what they're producing versus what they could be producing. So let's go ahead and now see what we need to do. Okay, first things first, we need to go get, we've already got oil, oil wells. We've already got mines. Now we need to find refinery. We need to research that. We've got chemical factory. We need to research that. And finally, the electronics factory, which I believe is the last one. Yes, we need to research that. So just before we can get started with anything else, we need to research those. Now, another thing we need to do is we need to upgrade our workers. We did the workforce upgrade, but I didn't upgrade our production. So now maximum production for 40 workers, not 10, is 250. So let's go ahead and confirm that. Again, we don't have all the necessary resources for this just yet, but we're going to go ahead and do the same thing for this other one. And we can make 545 here. Okay, so now we've got all of this taken care of. So the production lines are ready to go and produce at maximum capacity, as least as far as the resources they have available to them at this particular time. Okay, so let's take a look and oh, so it just happened. Wow. Okay, let's go ahead and pause. What just happened? So there it is. Our last competitor, OmniWorks, closed its doors and withdraws from business. So they went out of business. Going back to last video, I could see this coming because they had taken out quite a bit in bank loans and had also gone into the stock market and sold off more than half of their company. So what this means now is that we are alone on the map. Now, that's not going to deter me because I'm still very much in the learning process of this game. So I'm going to keep going. I really hadn't seen any competition from them anyway. Um, as you can tell from all of the Let's Play videos that I've done, it's really just been about building factories and managing production. That's and you know and getting research going. That's really what it's been about. So at this particular point in time, I hadn't seen any effects of their competition anyway. So as much as it bums me out that the AI, both of the AI on this map, ran themselves out of business, we're going to keep moving forward. Because this game so far really hasn't been about the AI anyway. It's been about research and production chains and building. So we're going to continue to do that. So, okay, we've gotten our lines maxed out. 40 of 40 workers and 40 of 40 workers here in both factories. So we're producing everything. We ought to really see this number take off. Because if we come over to our store, our storefront, we see that... Let's see how well we're doing here. How are our sales going? Looks like we're selling a bunch and we're making an absolute ton off of mobile phones. I mean, think of that 65 grand 
69 grand. I mean, it's huge numbers that we're making off of this. And then you can see this is all over the place, but we're making another 15. Now, how does that work? We go from making 15 grand. Oh, it's uh, the new supply is just now hitting, now hitting the market. So this is, these are huge numbers that we're making as far as our, the amount we're earning. So the software really wasn't getting us that much. I mean, 5,800 was a large amount. Then if we look at some of these others, you know, 8,000 and so on. But then we come over to here and you get 68, almost 69,000. Huge, huge profit potential here. 56,000. I mean, this is just huge growth we're seeing here. So now we'll keep an eye on this and see if we start to get a whole lot of units stored. Uh, 14, now we're down to four. So it looks like that's just going to oscillate back and forth. 45, we were up around 50. We're going down to 45 again. So it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot going on there. Let's go back to research. As I'm pretty happy with the prices we have for our current two products out of our new industry. All right, let's see how we're doing. The refinery, we are 76% of the way done there. We're going to go ahead and fast forward. And you can see we're really racking up the money now, 165 grand, 179 grand per day. So the refinery is off and running. Now, so what are we going to do with the refinery? Well, at this point, we're starting to get several things going. Let's go ahead and get down here to our warehouse. 7% stored, so not a ton of things stored. As you can see, we've got quite a bit of some of this, uh, some of these products stored up. So what I'm going to do is actually build. All right, we are going to build a mine. I'm sorry, an oil well. And the reason we're going to build an oil well is because we're going to need it. If you remember from our production tree for plastics, oil well goes to the refinery for polymer, which goes to the chemical factory for plastics, and then you get the same thing here. Crude oil becomes petrochemicals this time into the chemical factory and so on. So we're going to need lots and lots of oil. So let's go ahead and start making some of that oil. Now, I have no idea how much we're going to be able to make at any given time. So let's go ahead and speed up time a little bit more. So oil well. How much oil do we have on our land? 303. I assume that's barrels per day. So that's a pretty good amount. We've seen some other numbers, which is very low at 44. And then I believe this area down here, 73, also very low. And then I believe this is a high area of 524. Yes. So if we wanted an area specifically for this, uh, in fact, I believe I'm going to do this. I'm going to go ahead and get this area and do nothing but pump oil off of it. So let's go ahead and buy that. And let's go ahead and do nothing but pump oil for now, at least. All right, where are we at here? Oil well, and let's go ahead and why can we not get, there we go. We'll fit them in here somehow. All right, so we've got oil well going in right there. Let's go back over to research and see that we're done with the refinery. Now it's time for the chemical factory, which is moving right along as well. Now, Next thing we want to do then is build a, where's our refinery? Refinery is right here. So I'm going to go ahead and put that. I really don't have, I'd like to keep all this together, but I'm not sure I have enough room down here. I'll tell you what though, I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and do that. Just so we can keep it all together for now. Oh, so corporate espionage. Hold on, let's, let's pause here and see what we got. So we've got a corporate spy has been caught and arrested for revealing company secrets. Okay, that's great. That's never good. And it's obviously for our company because there are no other companies left. And let's see. So it's not so surprising this would happen. Compromise. So research and development facility facilities are on emergency shutdown. So that sounds like we're not going to be getting any more research for the foreseeable future. Let's go ahead and put our refinery down. All right, so 
are we not getting any more research? Okay, so research has been halted. So we're middle of the way through chemical factory, and we still had electronics factory to go. So this is no good. What do we need to do to get past this? What do we need to do? Let's go to our research and development facility. And I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. What do you want me to do? We still have 48 workers. We're still working on chemical factory. And it says that it's been shut down. Got it. See the news for more information. Okay. Already did that. So, okay. So let's click off of this a few times and see. Okay. So are we still halted? It looks like it. Okay, so we'll have to come back to that. So we've lost our ability to research for now. And let's take a look and see what we got. We've got 16 workers available. Of course, we're not doing anything with them just yet. So product selection is crude oil. And we'll go for that. How much can we get? We'll go ahead and do max quality. How much can we do per day? Okay, so we can do with 16 workers, we can do 131 barrels per day. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll need somewhere to take this oil. And we'll take it over to our one warehouse, although we're going to need to expand warehouses for logistical purposes, if nothing else, here before too long. Okay, so that's going. Okay, now here at our refinery, it has seven workers, and we can either make polymer or petrochemicals. Okay, we need both. So for this one, we're going to make polymer, and that requires, are you kidding me, 923 barrels of oil per day? Yikes. That is a huge amount. All right, so as you can see, this is going to take a huge amount. So polymer, a polymer factory is going to take 924 barrels for max production and 1,077 barrels for max production here. Let's go ahead and set it for polymer and see what that max production is. So max production here is, looks like 195 per day. Okay. Now, right now, that doesn't mean a whole lot to me. We'll go ahead and set it for that. That is very interesting. So we've got seven workers available here without any upgrades because we haven't researched any, and we can make 195 per day. That is absolutely astounding. Okay. Now, the question is, how many polymer do we need per day? And the answer is I have no idea because as far as I know, the game doesn't give us any way to do that. We are still unable to do anything. And I really just wonder what the reasoning is. Okay, I've got it here, folks. I've got the global news. Got it. Can we get going? Can we do some more research? You've shut things down, and I'm not sure... At this point, because it, as best I know, it didn't tell me that, I mean, all it says really is that no statements have been released as of yet, but until companies can be certain to what extent their research has been compromised or sabotaged, research and development facilities are an emergency shutdown. Okay, well, that's great. Well, when do we get to determine we can reopen? So I'm just going to click around on here and see if I can open things back up. Okay, it looks like we started again. Yes, we've started again. So that's, that is excellent. So now we'll get to chemical factories, which will be our next step and tell us about polymer and whether 195 per day is good, bad, or indifferent. Because right now, like I said, I have no idea. What I do know 
is that if we come back down here, this is getting complicated. Oops. So if we look at our production of crude oil, we're making 131 per day. We just found out that polymer needs 924 per day. 924 per day. So we're nowhere near having enough to meet production for that we need for polymer. And then on top of that, we're going to need petrochemicals, which is going to require even more barrels of oil. So we're in a, in a predicament right now with oil. This seems pretty odd. Okay, so we're done now with our second building. Our chemical factory is now researched. We're on to the electronics factory. So looks like the first thing I'm going to want to do, let's go back to our oil well. So there's our mines. There's our oil well. So we're going to need to research workforce three times because every time we work, increase our workforce, it increase our work capacity by 16. So we definitely want that. Definitely want that because we're going to need a lot of oil in order to maintain polymer. And then we'll see what happens with petrochemicals and and we'll need to put down some more oil wells for sure. In fact, let's go ahead and get started with that right now. Where's our oils? Here we go. 840. Our progress report, not going to really worry about that because we've got no competitors right now. So no real reason to worry. Okay, so let's go ahead and speed some things up here. Take a look at our research and see how it's moving along. Okay, our oil well is almost ready to go. And then we'll start it on our worker upgrades for the oil well. Yeah, so this is a little confusing right now as to what's going on. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look here. We are going to add oil. See, oil is going to be our only available product, which makes sense, obviously. Quality, we're going to run up to 20. And our maximum capacity is 131. Okay, so we're everything's good there for now. Yes, please hire the workers. Okay, we got 16 workers here. 16 workers here. Okay, so our next update for workers should get us 260 barrels per day. So we're still, we're going to have a hard time getting anywhere near 924 barrels just to meet the needs of, of our one refinery going down here. So our one refinery, which is, I've forgotten to do our transport route. Let's go ahead and let's see. Let's go ahead and get that from the warehouse. And then let's add another transport route to take our final product to the warehouse. Okay. All right. So we've got that. We need to add a route here to do the same thing. Take our oil to the warehouse. So we're good there. Okay. And so no idle workers in either one. We're making 131, 131. So we're at 260 combined. And then our research is going to take us to double that. So that's going to give us just 500. So we're going to need to double it again to even get to enough oil around here for this one particular factory. Now, if you remember back, we, don't, we have 524 oil here. Does that mean 524 barrels a day like I think it does? If so, this isn't going to get us very far. We're going to need to purchase oil all over the place in order to get anywhere near the amount we're going to need. Because remember, not only do we have a refinery that's going to be making the polymer for us, we're going to need another refinery making petrochemicals, which needs even more barrels per day. So we're going to find out because here's what I know so far, regardless of how that works itself out, the most I'm going to be able to produce at this particular location Okay, we've got 131 per day that we're making. Looks like I'm going to be able to 
triple that. So that's around 400 barrels out of this one particular oil well and then another 400 here. So the two of them combined won't quite make enough for one refinery. So we're going to need more oil. Okay, let's go get our oil well and put it on at that level. Let's see how our, okay, so we're on to our second workforce level. We're going to go ahead and just wait and do this all at one time. Because as fast as these things are, are moving, let's go ahead and speed time up even more. As fast as these things are moving, we should be able to just do all of these at one time, really, or at least the first two at one time and see what that does to our production. Because each one is adding 16 workers. Okay, now we're on to the final one. Let's go ahead and do the upgrade here. Another upgrade there. And then finally, our third one. Let's go ahead and upgrade there. Okay, so now we have 48 workers. Okay, so that's different than I thought. Apparently, I am very bad at math on this. So let's go ahead and get this third oil well up and running. Go ahead and max out our production per day, 393. So right at the 400 that I was looking for there. Let's go ahead and get that moving at our transport route. Okay, so that one's taken care of. Let's go back to our first one. And our production, max it out at 393. And same thing on our final oil well. Okay, so now we have three oil wells and all of them are producing We'll just round it off and call it 400 per day. Okay, our research, what does it give us? Okay, we're halfway done there. So let's go ahead and see if we have anything else that we need to go ahead and research very quickly. All right, so on our, where is our refinery? Let's find it real quick. There it is. All right, so it's got cost and, and different things so we're going to need we're not going to upgrade the workforce because right now i don't have enough to to keep it going anyway electronics factory let's look at chemical factory and see what's going on here plastic and rubber okay we're going to need to unlock that and i, I believe that's it there and electronics battery level technology i believe we're going to need that as well so let's go ahead and unlock that. Processors, uh, yes, we're going to need to make those as well. And then the other things are various upgrades. So we're doing good. Workforce, the final workforce is almost done for the mines, or excuse me, the oil well. Keep wanting to call them mines. And let's make sure that that is correct. Okay, level three out of three, so we're good there. We're going to let this thing go ahead and get started here for our other items. Now, let's come back here, and now we can have up to 64. Let's go ahead and max these out, 524 per day. Okay, so now we know that two of these will be able to fund one. We also, or one uh, refinery that is, for our polymer. And that tells me that I'm going to need, before I can max out, let's see, we don't have any additional here. Okay, so we're going to need another oil well so that I can build yet another refinery. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's see, there's my refinery. Let's go ahead and put it down since I was already on it. And we'll fit that one in here. And we'll build another oil well right there. 
Okay, so the first two oil wells will be feeding our initial refinery, making our polymer. These final two oil wells will be roughly taking care of the needs we have for our second refinery, which is going to be making the petrochemicals. So as you can see, this is very involved. And there's many hours of gameplay here, even without the AI. So we're going to go ahead and get started here. We're going to add our workforce upgrade, giving us access to all 64 workers. And then we're going to add our product line of oil, which, by the way, this 524 doesn't seem to matter at all. Unless I'm missing something, it doesn't seem to matter at all because we're taking way more than that out of the ground from each of these uh, each of these oil wells. So now we've got that up and running. We need to have our transport route to the warehouse. Okay, so that takes care of that. Let's make sure it's running. Yes, it is. And our next refinery is up and going. So we're going to add petrochemicals. And you can see we need 1,077 of these for full production. Now, full production, I assume, means max workers, which, of course, we're nowhere near right now because we're at beginning level. So how many can we make here? 77.77. So we can make 77 per day. And yes, we'd like to hire those workers. And then let's set up two transportation routes. One to get the oil from the warehouse. And then another to take our petrochemicals to the warehouse once they're completed. All right, so things are going well. As you can see, our if you've noticed in the bottom here, our we go from 177 to 98 as far as our, our balance increases. So it's all over the place. And really that's all about our production chain. Whenever these various facilities run out of materials, they can't produce enough. And what we're talking about in general are these two. With our mobile phones and our smart glasses for now, they need a certain amount of product each time or each day in order to produce their maximum amount. Whenever they have it, they produce the full amount. Whenever they don't, they produce a reduced amount. And that's why we see this number jumping around. But we're in much better shape than we were a couple of videos ago when we were at about 50,000. So we're well over double that now. We're in good shape. I think we're going to leave it here for today's video. We've got research. Look at that. I got research that I need to get started. Lots of things going on. We're expanding our product tree and production facilities. So stay tuned next time for more Industry Manager Future Technologies.